I wanted to find the quickest and simplest method of installing RetroPie on my SD card, and I think I've found it. Stick around to find out. So RetroPie for the Raspberry Pi allows you to play arcade and console games on your Raspberry Pi. Pretty simple really, but what I wanted to find out was the simplest way of installing it without any bloat or anything like that, just so it gets on there and it runs. With that said, let's jump over to the computer. Okay, so the first step is to go to retropi.org.uk. All right, so once they're there, we'll go to the download link. And you'll have two images here, one for the Raspberry Pi Zero or Raspberry Pi B Plus, or the Raspberry Pi 2 and 3. So for the, this particular one, I'm gonna use it for the B Plus. So click on that. Okay, so now that's finished downloading, what we'll do is we will write that image to the SD memory card. Okay, so you can see everything here correctly. I've got the image, I've got where the drives are and Win32 Disk Imager. If you don't have Win32 Disk Imager already, then I've provided a link down in the description or if you click on the little eye up in the top right hand corner, then you'll be redirected to my blog post. Okay, so now that we've done that, we'll select the image file which is under RetroPie, that one there. Now the device, at the moment it's set to F, which is not a good one. We want to set it to Z, so set that to Z. And the only other thing that you've got to do is click on Write. So we'll click Write, and we'll continue, yes. Now this will take a little while, so I'll speed up this, and we'll be back in a sec. Okay, so the write was successful, so we'll hit OK. We'll exit out of Win32 Disk Imager, and we'll eject our Z drive, and we'll go over to the Raspberry Pi. So now it's on the SD card, and that's pretty much it. But I'll jump one step further, and I'll show you how the install process goes on the actual Raspberry Pi itself. So let's jump over to the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so the first thing it's going to do when you boot up is resize the file system. So this just means that you get a little bit of extra space out of your memory card. And we'll speed this up just a little bit. And now we're to the welcome screen. And we've got to configure our gamepad. So we'll grab that. And then what it tells us to do is to hold down a button on the device to configure it. Now we'll just go through and press each button on the Xbox 360 controller, or your controller of choice. And that's it for setting up RetroPie. You're ready to go and start installing your emulator and ROMs. Awesome! So if you haven't pulled the trigger and bought your own Raspberry Pi just yet, then what I've done is I've provided a link down in the description below on where to purchase one, or from the link up here. So that's RetroPie on the Raspberry Pi, and that was pretty simple. That's it for another video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you leave me a big thumbs up or even a comment down below. If you do enjoy the content that I'm providing here, then make sure you subscribe to my channel because it really helps me a lot. And as always, imagine, learn, create.